Hi, this is Apostle Ross and Solomon. Today is April 15th, 2024. Where's the time going? It's springtime. If you hear that noise in the background, it's my fan. It's, it's, it was like 80 degrees yesterday and it's 80 today. That's Georgia weather for you. Um, I came on here to tell y'all some prophecies and stuff. Um, Father, in the name of Yeshua Jesus, let me speak what you want me to speak and say what you want me to say and cover this broadcast with the blood of Yeshua Jesus and my warfare angels go against anything or anyone that tries to come against me in Yeshua's name. Um, the Lord told me that that war going on and um, the propagation, because he said it's a mini war <laughs> between Israel and Iran. Like I told y'all like eight months ago that Israel was going to attack Gaza and so forth. The video's on here. And I told y'all um, last year about um, a, another war that um, they were going to try and get America in, which is this one. But America wasn't really supposed to get involved, but they did, you know, Biden. But think something's going to flip, the Lord said. And I told y'all in one of my one-minute videos. Um, the Lord also says this is not coincidental, this war that they're doing. They're trying to disrupt the monetary systems around the world, especially here in America. So now we have the Bitcoin having coming, right? Now you got these crazy wars coming. You saw the bloodbath. That bloodbath that the market experienced reminded me of um, the day after Thanksgiving in 2021. That's exactly how the markets tanked really bad, really bad. But thank God it didn't last as long, you know, the market is still recovering. This is not financial advice, nor am I a guru. I'm just telling you what the Lord was saying. Um, the market is recovering. And like I saw the bear locked up in the prison and y'all locked him up and he clapped three times and said bull run, right? So we know bull runs coming. But the, these, the war with Ukraine and, and Russia and now with Israel and Gaza, now with Israel, Gaza and Iranian, these things were plant, planned the Lord said, and they were planned at specific times and seasons in the spiritual realm to manifest. So basically, not only are they trying to mess up the Bitcoin having, they're trying to disrupt the financial system worldwide and even here in America. And like Chase is having problems now. Wells Fargo is having problems now. Bank of America just decided to back XRP, you know, um, and uh, they wanted to run a lot of people out of XRP and that Swift coin. You know, I know a guy, he got $300,000 off of the Swift coin literally um, overnight, you know, and now he's looking for a house. And he, he was like, and, and he told me about it. But by the time he told me about it, he had made money, but he gave me another coin. And um, he, he says it's going to blow up like, like that Swift coin. So I said, okay, you redeemed yourself. <laughs> so um, anyway, um, so these things were all planned. It's to disrupt the financial system. It's to disrupt the Bitcoin having because they still don't want people to become millionaires or get rich, you know. And the only reason why the SEC isn't going against Bitcoin is because we already know who behind Bitcoin. It's, it's, it's a multitude of people that are behind the Bitcoin that I won't say. But that's why Bitcoin... The sec is not going after them because why would you go after something that belongs to you? You know what I mean? Right. Um, so um, that's what the Lord told me to share. So we just need to pray, guys, you know, that I mean, like on TikTok, God was like, be thankful the bloodbath happened before the having instead of afterwards. So basically he was saying like afterwards, I don't know how long afterwards, after the having, the market was going to explode because he told me that on TikTok. And I wasn't even going to say that. He just gave it to me because you know how sometimes he do that. And I just started prophesying. And that video is on Facebook if you want to see it, Prophetic Mantle and Rosalind Solomon, if you want to see it, right? It's not on TikTok because TikTok don't let you re-upload anything past an hour. Um, and that video was like almost two hours. So the Lord wanted me to tell y'all about that. And then um, we really have to up our prayer lives, guys. Like those of you who pray a lot, like I do, you know, just add a little more to it. <laughs> you know, um, add a little more prayer over your family members. Because he said that Yadabaf, the enemy, his king kingdom, but especially him, He's coming for blood. He's coming for vengeance. He's very mad. It's like he it's like he's looking through binoculars because 
he can't really stop what's coming. So he's looking through binoculars because he's having a hard time seeing in the spirit because God is blocking his view from a lot of stuff because God can do that. So he's using binoculars trying to see at a distance. And because he can't see a lot of things that God is up to, it's making him very angry. So he wants to take it out on the world. He wants to take it out on God's children and, and, and even his own children. Even his own children aren't safe at this point. Right. So because he's not understanding what God is doing and he can't predict or see it, it's making him angry. It's like a witch trying to see into your future and she can't and it makes her angry. So he's retaliating. So all we have to do is up our prayer life some and up your prayers more for your family. You know, um, do warfare prayers. Stay close to God. Um, walk in God. Live in God. You know, just just say, God, please let me live in you and God live in me more. Load me up more with you and the Ruach and Yeshua. Let me live in you. Let me be stronger than you, Father. Let me outpace the enemy. Father, let me always be ahead of the enemy. Let me always be a victor. Let me all, always be vict victory and all of the stuff that the enemy has come and made your power intervene on our behalf on the enemy's plans toward this earth, toward the people, toward us, your children, toward the church in Yeshua's name. Anything from you, Father, we just ask you to have mercy on us and reconsider and not allow it to come. But if it come, please give people a chance to repent and get right. And anything from you, we ask, I mean, from the enemy, we ask you to abolish it. We ask you to, to stop it. And he told me that Yadabaf wants to kill a lot of people. That's why I saw a lot of people being murdered and killed and deleted and dying of different things after the eclipse. And boy, is it happening, right? So pray against death. Pray that God's power intervenes and um, ob obliviates death, right? He obliviates death and don't allow death to come before it's time to anybody in our families, us, people around us, people around the world, you know, give us extensions so we can have time or people can have time to come to you and get right in Yeshua's name. And then the Lord said, um, a lot of um, nefarious people, like witches and stuff, you know, but not just them, other kind. They're also on the hunt to, of stealing people's cars. Like, like if, if you have dreams of somebody messing with your car in a dream or somebody stealing your car, nine times that's a witch or a nefarious person that's trying to take your car. And in the spirit realm, they have vehicles. They drive vehicles. So if they want your car, and God forbid you get in a car crash and tow your car, something happened to your car, it don't work no more, or somebody steal it. You know, that could have been a witch that did that to you because they want your or or ne nefarious person because they want your car or your truck. And they're literally driving it around in the spiritual realm because in the spiritual realm, they also have currency. You know, they have liquidity and liquidity basically is water, you know, and our money is called currency because the maritime law. When you hear the word liquidity, that's nothing but water. Right. So they 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 have money in the spiritual realms. They have they do transactions. They have banks. They have vaults. They have homes, houses, mansions, schools, roadways, highways. They have a lot because I've seen these things and I wrote about them in, in my in my books. Right. So, you know, please, if you ever see anybody trying to take your car, see you you being in an accident, anything to do with your car, you need to cancel it. You have a father name, shoot Jesus. Anybody eyeing my car in the spirit room trying to take it from me so they can have it in the spiritual room. I rebuke it and cancel. I invoke the blood of Shua Jesus against it. I provoke the blood of Shua Jesus. It will never manifest from the spiritual to the physical, to the physical, to the spiritual, or spiritual to the physical ever in Yeshua's name. And my car is covered in the blood of Yeshua Jesus. Anyway, in one of my one minute videos, I told you God said, cover your car, let your families know, because I let my family know. You know, anybody that's you, you can tell, tell them to start covering their cars and vehicles in the blood of Jesus, even vehicles they use for, you know, work like company car, whatever. And um, pray the blood of Yeshua in, in the land that your property sits on. Or you could put oil in it. 
you know, but me, I, I pray the blood of Shua Jesus and I just spray around my house, you know, but the blood of Shua Jesus is sufficient enough. And you can also ask God to surround your house, your car and you and everywhere you go with the electrifying firewall of the Ruha Kadesh that is unpenetrable. And then you can always ask God to position your angels around your house and have some go with you everywhere you go and your family and send your warfare angels to guard you and to fight against those that fight against you. And you can always ask God, the Holy Spirit and Yeshua and the host of heaven and the warfare angels to go before you to the front, back, right, left, underneath, on top and in the middle to prepare the way for you. That way God will scatter all the plans of the enemy for that day you know, week or whatever you're praying for, right? And it's not to say that the enemy won't try and touch you, but it won't prosper. It won't do what it was what it was initially meant to do because you ask God to go before you because God can see everything. And, and you pray and ask God to keep you in the right place at the right time and keep you away from the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, you ask God to protect you from all types of nefarious evil things that could happen to you or your family. Like a lot of these prayers are in my last four prayer books I did last year on Barnes and Noble. So you might want to go get them. And I got some powerful prayer books on Amazon as well. You know, and la last night on TikTok, I had me preaching on one of, one of the apostles I follow and people got deliverance. Oh my goodness. I didn't know. I just went to go check on him and he invited me to come up and God had me preaching on, um, um, like the Incubus and Succubus and some other stuff and people got deliverance. So now some of his followers, you know, want to talk to me. So they're going to be following me. Cause you know, when I come on TikTok, I, I talk to people and pray and stuff. So TikTok is basically going to be used for deliverance, prophecy, dream interpretation and prayer. And, and you know, every blue moon, I might do a little bit of teach, teaching. So that's what TikTok's basically going to be used for, you know, and God moves mightily in that TikTok and Facebook, because I use Facebook a lot to prophesy to people in person. I get to see them, you know. So, you know, um, I just came on here to tell you these things. And if you want to know more about the kingdom of darkness, I have a book called The Antichrist Kingdom, The Secret to um no, um The Antichrist Kingdom, The Secret to Darkness. It is a um ebook on Barnes and Noble and a book on Barnes and Noble, which is 400 pages long. It's also on um Amazon, but it has a different color. I think it's brown, right? And you can find out about Satan's immigration system. You can find about the, find out about the witches. They have a world which has three levels to it. Um, you can find out about the cities and stuff they have in dimensions and rims, especially in the Water Kingdom. You can spend a hundred years in the Water Kingdom and come back here, and only a year has passed because it says one day is a thousand years in heaven. So you can spend basically one hour in the kingdom of darkness and come back here in 50 years, 100 years, I mean, spend 50 to 100 years there and come back here and it could be a day or an hour or two hours. Everything we have here on this earth, they have in their kingdom and even more. They have things we never even seen before. They have cars in their kingdom we never seen before. Spaceships, aircrafts, technology that hasn't even been revealed on the earth yet, but will be in the future. Like these flying cars, they already had them in the kingdom of darkness long before. Um, flat screen TVs, AI, robots, they already was there. A lot of stuff in the movies, cartoon characters, Spider-Man, they, ex you know, these things exist in the kingdom. So you might want to get that book to find out more. So um, I will talk to you all soon. Y'all have a blessed Monday and uh, keep me in prayers. I do you and, you know, pray against these wars and stuff. Oh, and the Lord said Iran and Russia was going to have an earthquake. I ran a massive one. That's what the Lord said. Judgment is upon them. Shalom. And Israel, something's ha going to happen to Israel. Um, I don't know if it's more nations coming for them or what, but something's going to happen to bring um, destruction to Israel again. All right. God bless y'all. In the name of Yeshua Mashiach. Shalom.